Uh, we're here now with uh, Keith Henry from Colour Presentations. Keith, you've got a whole bunch of very interesting stuff here on the, on the stand. Tell yes. us about the business and what you do. Well, what we've, we've been selling binding machines for 30 years. Mm -hmm. And if you've done any binding, you know they don't work very well. Yeah, there's always a bit of... Well, it's a World War II system, right? So it's advanced a bit. So what we did, we spent 18 months designing and making mm -hmm. our own, own binding machines and covers oh, that cool. work. So they're like, like a book now, yep. as you can see. So all you do to actually bind now, even up to a couple hundred pages, you just, I'll just show you here, Simon. Sure. Just take the document you want to bind, yep. put it in the cover, yep. put it on the machine, and yep. that's binding. Cool. Automatic turns on and turns off in a minute, and you've bound a document just like a book. And how good does that look? Let's zoom in on that, Chris. I mean, that looks fabulous. And um, I get the feeling it's probably easier to turn the pages than it is with some of those nasty things that put holes down. That's right. Plus, you can also add and delete a page. Say you've bound that and something goes wrong, page 13's changed. All you do, pop it back in again, go to page 13, take it out, put the new page in. Now, I'm, I'm guessing that there's some cunning polymer down there and that there's an application of heat involved. There is, that's right. And it, it took a year just to design the spine. The spine's a secret, and it has to be a really strong spine uh -huh. so they don't fall apart, um, and that you can add and delete the pages. And you can even do, if you have a look here, we can even do books. Wow. Right, proper books in hardcover. Yep. And there you go. I mean, that's a, that's a very booky book. Extraordinary. Well, thank you very much for that. It's a, a great Australian innovation, and I'm sure that, you know, we'll find a place in a lot of offices that read my business. I hope so. Many thanks. Thanks, Simon.